All right, guys, welcome back to the fragrance wardrobe. Going to do another individual review. This is going to be a niche fragrance, as you saw from the title. It's going to be from Killian, and it is Apple Brandy on the Rocks from the Killian Liqueurs Collection. What I'm trying to do is do individual reviews, kind of alternating between a designer and a niche, in between my list videos. So up the list videos and fit in some individual reviews. If you like that format, let me know in the comments. So let's go ahead and check out Apple Brandy on the Rocks. I don't have the box with me because I don't care, but I'll show you guys the bottle. Bottle looks really cool. Looks like a rock glass, kind of the way it's designed. This is like an acrylic, I think. It's not glass, it's some sort of like acrylic. And your atomizer, not bad, not great, not bad. I've seen worse. So with Apple Brandy on the Rocks, here's your note breakdown. Top notes are going to be bergamot, pineapple, cardamom. Heart notes are rum, moss, vanilla. And your base notes are cedarwood and ambroxan. So, do you get all those on your skin? Not really. What do I get on my skin? I get the... I don't get like the pineapple and bergamot standing out alone. I get the mix of the freshness from those, uh, those notes kind of combined together just to give you some sort of like a fresh fruit type of thing going on. You don't really, I can't pick out like, oh, this is pineapple, oh, this is bergamot. They're just kind of blend together to give you like a freshness in the opening. Uh, the cardamom, a little bit of a, little bit of a sweet, uh, like a sweet spice type of thing going on with it. And then you get kind of the rum and the vanilla. I don't get the ambroxan, don't get the cedar wood. Uh, I don't get the moss. Basically, the main things I get are going to be that pineapple, that bergamot, mixing with a boozy rum and kind of a sweet touch, smooth vanilla. Not overly sweet, not a vanilla fragrance, just kind of a smooth, sweet touch to the boozy rum and that fresh uh, bergamot and pineapple in the opening. All in all, it smells pretty good. Now, most people don't like this one as much as Angel Share. And uh, I mean, I, I guess I can see why, but it's still a really good fragrance. I've had plenty of people come into work and smell this and really fall in love with it. it smells great. 100% unisex, a guy can wear it, a, a woman can wear it, anybody can wear it. Uh, with the bergamot and the pineapple in this thing, I think it does give it a level of freshness that can like be worn a little bit more um, more regularly than Angel Share. Angel Share is much more like, like late fall, winter, evening type of fragrance where uh, Apple Brandy on the rocks, you can wear it during the daytime, you can wear it into the spring, early fall. I don't think I'd wear it in the summertime, but unless it's maybe like an evening out type of thing. But the freshness to it, it does add a little bit more wearability throughout the year instead of like boxing itself into strictly cold weather. The price tag on these, not cheap. They're $195 for the 50 mil. That's at retail. I don't know if they are at discounters or not. I will drop a couple of discounter links in the description so you can browse on there, see if they end up having these uh, you know, listed. But I do think you're probably going to end up spending about $195, which is full retail for this. Performance on Apple Brandy on the Rocks is actually really good. I get a solid eight hours out of it. Uh, yeah, I don't get anything less than eight hours. I might even be getting a little bit more because uh, I can apply it in the morning and it's with me all day long. The projection, the, of course, the more you spray, the more it's going to push out. But I get a good like full arms, like length, wingspan type of projection with this, with a like, I guess like not a total overspray, but not an underspray spray. That makes sense. But um, yeah, I get like a pretty good scent bubble with this. Your CIs, your scent trail is gonna be great. People passing by you are gonna smell you. You passing by them or walking in front of them, they're gonna pick up the scent. Uh, compliment factor on it. I don't know, man. Uh, it just depends who you happen to be around that day and whether or not they like you. I mean, if you're an unlikable person, you're not going to get a compliment. If you're more of a likable person, 
so I might be more inclined to compliment your fragrance. Um, I'm not a very likable person, so I don't get as many compliments as some of you guys might get. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, I think most people do kind of enjoy the scent. Not bad. My wife actually, she didn't like it at first, but the second and third time I wore it, she's like, oh, that smells pretty good. I was like, you didn't like it the first time I wore it. What's up? She's like, well, I like it now. So it does, I think, uh, it can get you some compliments. I think it's not like an offensive fragrance or anything like that. Uh, but yeah. Pretty good scent. Happy I got it. I have the entire Liqueurs collection. I do want to review all of them and do a line talk on all of those. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm trying, trying to decide. Uh, I'm trying to wait and see if they're going to drop a 2022 one anytime soon before I do like a line talk with it. But anyway, guys, I do appreciate you watching the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, share, ring the bell, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok, and I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else set up for you guys to do. So do all of those things uh, to support me and my channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.